Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, so, I just picked up this rather sorry example of an iPhone 5S off eBay. It only cost around 25 bucks, which is a good price, but it was only that cheap because it's scratched, it has a scratched up frame, the glass is obviously cracked, and it's only a 16 gig. Uh, but, this thing is hiding a special little secret. Check that out. No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is indeed an iPhone 5S running iOS 9, specifically 9.2. And uh, today I will be doing a tutorial on how to jailbreak it. So, we're just going to begin here. And uh, just a quick note, this jailbreak tutorial may be a little less refined than what you'd normally expect from me. And that is because, unlike usual, what I'll usually do is I'll is when I'm trying to jailbreak a device on a version I've never done before, I'll do it myself off recording, and then I'll restore the device in iTunes and start over and record the tutorial after I know exactly what to do. I can't do that now since iOS 9.2 is unsigned. I just have to go for it and uh, hope everything goes completely smoothly so that uh, I can record this for you. So, you'll need a tool called uh, Pangu. Uh, you don't hear about them anymore, but back in the iOS 7, 8, and 9 days, they were big and they released many jailbreaks. Alright, I found a link on this uh, iosninja.io site. I know nothing about it or whether it's legitimate or not, so I'll try to find a more official download source uh, before... For the description but I got it from here so I'll put it there if I can't find anything else but it looks like this is an IPA based method and the version number of 1.1 also checks out compared to what was on the Pangu website so we are just going to uh, do the IPA side loading tutorial here so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to download an application called side loadly um, this is a very reputable a tool for side loading. The reason you want your side loading tool to be reputable is because it requires an Apple ID to send to Apple servers. And of course, if you use a fishy tool, you can get your stuff hacked. Now, side loadly is pretty popular, and uh, it's usually the one that's recommended if you need to do something like this. And um, if they were stealing people's Apple IDs, I think it probably would have gone public by now, considering how long this has been out for. If you don't trust it, you can always just use a burner Apple ID, so no worries there. Alright, it's gonna try to install drivers. I'm gonna skip, skip that. Oh man, I hate dealing with drivers on this MacBook. Any Windows 7 drivers just drive me insane. Ugh. Anyways, we're just gonna open up side loadly and hope it detects our device. Oh, it's updating, are you kidding? Rats. <laughs> man, this is... This is just fun. Oh, that was that. And Windows Defender has immediately called out a threat. And it's detecting an exploit. We are going to allow on device. It may bug us again. But uh, that's just because, of course, jailbreaks of all kinds rely on exploits to function. And Windows Defender will, of course, pick that up and try to prevent it even though that's what we actually want. So, it will bug you on that. Obviously, if it says Trojan or something like that, then you want to be concerned that you've downloaded a bad file, but if it says exploit iPhone OS, blah, 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 then you are usually safe. So, I'm going to get side loadly open now. Is it going to detect an update here as well? Let's see. No. All right. Could not connect to device. Password protected. Yep. Uh, so obviously you'll want to unlock a password protected device and trust the computer. I don't need to show you that, but I just hit the button. And is there a button here to refresh? There we go. It's picked it up. 5S Space Gray on 9.2. So click the big friendly button that says IPA on it and select your file wherever it downloaded to. Alright, and then when you hit start here, it'll tell you to enter your Apple ID details, which I have conveniently censored, uh, but uh, it won't for me because I've entered them before, so it's cached them locally, so I don't need to again, but uh, 
For you, it will of course require you to enter them. So just do that, and if you're concerned, just use a burner Apple ID. Then it's start. I've censored this because I don't know all this information, and I don't. And it failed, <laughs> but I'll just allow that again because it picked it up again. Of course, it did. Uh, but I'm gonna censor this screen uh, because I don't know if any of it's sensitive. I could, it's probably all fine, but I'm just, just in case, going to censor it, so, yeah. But it has finished. And now, on the device, we can unlock, unlock, there we go. And we have the Pangu app. If I click on this, it'll just say Untrusted Developer, so you'll want to go into your Settings app. General. Then go to Device Management, which is near the bottom, and then click on the button that for you will not be censored, but it is for me to hide the Apple ID. And then hit this censored button that says trust. It'll say uh, trust again with a pop-up, but I've skipped that because I'm sick of, because I'm sure uh, editing me will be sick of adding censors at this point. So uh, I have skipped that for my convenience, uh, but now just open up the app. Uh, I don't know why it's asking for notifications. Probably to alert you to re-sign the app. Uh, it says use embedded certificate, effective until April 2017. It's a bit expired now, probably won't work. <laughs> it's also worth mentioning that this is only for 64-bit devices. I'll have that in the title, of course. Uh, probably should have mentioned that earlier. So 5S and up, or iPad Air and up, or uh, iPod Touch 6 is the only iPod Touch that will uh, apply to this. And uh, like any other uh, semi-untethered jailbreak, uh, this will require you to re-sign the app every seven days unless you have a developer account. And uh, you will have to rerun the app each time you restart. So please lock screen and wait a few seconds. That is apparently a tip. So uh, this is my first time going through this. So I'm just gonna wait a few seconds. There's a good chance I probably should have removed my passcode. Oh, no. Alright, it's rebooted. I am praying that this doesn't go wrong and somehow boot loop this thing, requiring me to restore to iOS 12. I would really hate that. Okay. Aha! Well, that was fast and painless. We're jailbroken. <laughs> now there is no way to untether this currently, which is unfortunate, and I doubt there will be in the future, because no one's going to care about such a random old uh, iOS version. But now, as you can see, City is up and running. I can do all the updates, and uh, now you can do fun things that will make the device more usable again, like uh, hack the YouTube app to work again. Uh, get all kinds of other stuff up and running, tweak it to your heart's content, whatever you please. But uh, that is the relatively painless process to jailbreaking uh, iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3 in 2021. Although I did want to check one more thing before I ended this video. Apparently, according to the Pangu website, there's another way to redo the jailbreak, which is to go to, I'm going to enter this in, JBME which clearly stand <laughs> I'm doing this at an odd angle jbme which stands for jailbreak me clearly dot uh, qwerty or uiop dot com qwerty or uiop is another developer apparently this can jailbreak your device from the browser So, I haven't tried to see if you can just do that from the start, but Pangu recommends this as a way to not have to re-sign the app. So, there you go. You're jailbroken on iOS 9.2. Uh, so, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will see everyone again soon. Have a good day or night, and uh, 
If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. I'll see everyone later. Bye-bye.